How you doing? I'm Matt with MonitorReviews.com. Today we're going to be unboxing and reviewing the Uniden SDS200. Hey, before we get started unboxing this thing, if you'll hit that like button, I'd appreciate it. Share this on your social media. That helps me out a lot. Don't forget to subscribe. Also, don't forget to check the description down below where I've linked to this scanner as well as the SDS100 and some other reviews that I've done. One of the most advanced scanners on the market today in 2019, uh, probably in my opinion, one of the best scanners you can buy uh, out there is the SDS200 as well as the uh, handheld version, the SDS100. I'll put a card above, show you that review and how to. They basically work the same. They're built on the same architecture for lack of a better word. This is a base mobile version of that. Let's unbox it and see what we got inside. I also do woodworking. If you want to check that channel out, 731 Woodwork is the name of that. You can just search it or I'll put a link in the description below. So it comes in two separate packages as most of Uniden's base mobile scanners do. The owner's manual and some literature there. Set this to the side. In this small box, we have a nicely packaged, we have antenna, we have the base mobile mount or the mobile mount screws. We have the mount itself, a USB cord, a cigarette lighter uh, power plug. That's nice. Uh, AC adapter the mobile power adapter. So if you want to hardwire it into your car. This is the beast right here. Very nicely packaged. I don't see nice, um, like a foam style protector over it. I always hang on to all this stuff because if I ever later sell or give these away, then I'll have the packaging. Whoa, man, I'm telling you, this is one of the best screens in my opinion on a radio or a scanner uh, to date. I love the customization Uniden gives. Man, this thing is, it is sharp. Gosh dang, it's sharp. It is a very well designed radio. I love it. So as you can see, we've got our VFO knob on the left. We have our squelch and volume on the right. These keys are also on the right. Uh, nice tactile feel to them. They're kind of a rubberized feeling. There's a detent when you push them in. This also has a slight detent, although you can't hear it, you can feel it every time you, it's like a notch, 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 every time you turn it. These are the same kind of keys here. We have a USB-A cover there that just comes off. I wish they would have uh, put some kind of tether on there so it wouldn't lose that. Micro USB here, micro SD here, and then we have a uh, ethernet jack on the back. We have our antenna uh, BNC. We have a GPS place for a GPS plug, the micro USB. At the time of this recording, this is not enabled. Uh, so this may be something they've got planned for the future. We have a uh, the AC power, and then this is for your hard wiring into your car. On the sides, we just have a uh, simple mounting. Uh, on the bottom, you have your speaker, and then some FCC hua. Uh, have some rubberized uh, grommets on the inside of your mount. All right, so this is a review of this SDS200. This is not an all-inclusive, deep dive, every menu setting review. Uh, I have a review of the SDS100. I'll drop a card above and there's a link in the description below. You can check that out if you wanna go through the menu settings. They're almost exactly the same. The only thing this adds to the menu is the LAN settings. So in the LAN, the reason you got a, a, a LAN local area network setting, you can put that cable in there 
and you can stream that audio over the internet uh, with some additional software. I think ProScan software is uh, one people are using to do that with. So you can check that out. Go to radioreference.com, check those forums. You'll see where people are doing that there. Why do you want this? You know, you're, you're gonna ask yourself that because let's be honest, it's expensive. $699 out the door. That does not include DMR, NextIn, or Pro Voice modes that you can receive you have to pay for those upgrades uh, but if you need that at least that's available because i've been in the scanning hobby for a, quite a long time now and there was a time when uh, you would read all over the forums that we would never be able to uh, monitor dmr or pro voice and even some next in so i'm glad that's available now i have dmr in my area like crazy but it's all encrypted so i can't listen to any of it so it doesn't really do me any good to have that dmr uh, i wish that things weren't encrypted but hey that's the way we, what that's the way the world works elephant in the room is it worth 700 dollars? only you can answer that i mean is an ipad worth a thousand dollars is a phone worth thousand twelve hundred dollars is your computer worth a thousand fifteen hundred dollars i mean that's going to be relative to you uh, i think this is one of the best scanners made to date so does it justify the price? Yeah, I think so. With all the with all the uh, options you're getting with this radio, with the research and development that has to go into these radios, uh, you have to take that in consideration. Uh, it's a small niche market, I think, that these things are being sold to. I have no idea how many they sell or anything, but uh, I can't imagine that it's anything anywhere near what a consumer electronic would normally go for, uh, like your phones, your your tablets, uh, and things like that. I think it's worth it. I think that uh, that's a fair price for what you're getting. Uh, do I like that you have to pay for the DMR upgrade and the next? No, I don't like that. But I think that's a way for them to keep the price down uh, for those that don't need it. Because I have no use for Pro Voice. There's none in my area. I have no use for Next End. There's none in my area. There are DMR systems in my area. Some are, most are encrypted uh, that I want to listen to. But if they weren't, it would be available. And I think that's a good good deal to be able to have that. So if you don't need it, it's able, you're able to keep that price down and then you can upgrade as you need it. So what can we receive? Obviously analog, VHF, high band, air band, rail scanning, things like that. As long as they're not encrypted, no, you cannot do anything to make it decode, decryption, or encryption. No, you can't do anything to modify this to make it receive encrypted channels. Uh, no, you can't receive cell phone calls. You know, I, I get those questions quite often. Uh, so what can we monitor with this STS-200? We can monitor APCO phase, uh, APCO P25 phase one and two. You can Motorola EDAX and LTR. We got, we got DMR tier three, Hytera XPT, single channel DMR, uh, Next in 4800 and 9600, EDAX Pro Voice, and that's kind of all. There's lots and lots of modes that this thing can pick up some with paid upgrades some straight out of the box in my opinion it's one of the most advanced scanners that is available today uh, other than the sds 100. a couple of my favorite features of this radio obviously is this screen you know that i go on and on about this screen being able to customize that i think that's one of the major benefits even though it's cosmetic i love it and this thing is big this is one of the bigger screens on a on a mobile scanner that i have seen ever this has a, a tall and why and there's lots of information on there you can do simple mode to get the bigger uh, text on there you could do detail mode and show a lot of uh, uh, information at one time so the megahertz you can monitor 25 to 512 758 to 824 849 to 869 895 to 960 and 1240 to 1300 megahertz so if you're looking for anything in that range i think this is a really good radio i think the strengths of this radio is 800 megahertz and vhf high band i have uh, no issues with that the audio is really good phase two reception is crystal clear i don't get any distortion any simulcasting i, I mean any uh, problems with simulcast this is a p25 hey uh respirations around 12 to 14 pulse ox 96 on room air Monitor that's a mobile the, unit uh, talking hey, so it sounds really good we got a dispatch coming up very very clear audio uh, i like that i can take my uh, unit ids and tag them i can name them if i know the unit or if i you know if they give their unit number i can tag that i just i just really really like this scanner 
There are so many options available. One of, a few of my favorite things, onboard recording, that is huge to me. The ability to replay if you're not recording, that's great. The reception, and of course, with a base mobile unit, there's no battery to worry about. So it's just a plug in and let's roll. All right, so let's talk about the reception on this radio. I personally think it has excellent reception in VHF high and 800 megahertz. I am 20 miles away from the tower I monitor. Uh, that's P25 phase two. It picks it up uh, almost full signal on the, on the graph. So, I mean, I, I never have any issues at 20 miles away at 800 megahertz. I think that's pretty good uh, considering that uh, the higher in the megahertz you go, the harder it is to receive at a distance. So it works very well in that respect. VHF high, specifically airband, it, this thing is miles above the SDS 100 in the airband reception. Uh, that was something that, that I felt was lacking in the 100 is the airband reception. But this one, it's, it's rocking and rolling the airband. I like it a lot. It doesn't compare to the BC 125 AT that I've done a review on. That's probably one of the best airband scanners I have ever had. But as far as uh, airband goes and a base mobile unit, this one's really, really good. As far as the look and feel of this radio, it has a semi-textured -tex case on it. Uh, you can feel those little bumps, but barely. These, everything is nice and, and uh, well fit. Metal case, plastic front, plastic LCD screen. The buttons all are nice tactile feedback. These have a nice click to them. Uh, that adjusts your brightness on your screen. And you can actually set those settings, the, the, how dim or how bright that, that each level is in your settings. These all knobs, all the knobs have a detent to them that you can feel on every one of these. You can actually hear the click. So in my opinion, one of the best features of this scanner is this LCD screen. It is a very large screen for a scanner and you can customize that background. It also has very loud audio. That's maxed out. Oh, that's squelch. But you do hear a little bit of rattle. We're facing out of the Cave City Base for Spring River Paramedic Ambulance Service. Uh, we have a forty-seven-year-old male. Lots of information on this screen. A bar graph. I've got error rates, uh, the RSSI in decibels. Uh, the GPS isn't connected, but if I connected, it would work. Tar uh, talk group ID. We've got our channel, uh, what tower it is, uh, what group it is, and then what system it is right there. I've got my favorites list set up. We've got the date and the time, volume and squelch, any tag information if you've set that up. You can pause it on a system by pushing system. You can do the same with department and channel. And then you've got all your stuff over here to, to uh, input there. We can turn, I usually have the volume set at about six or eight uh, while I'm sitting at the bar. I'll have this next to me on the bar. And so the, the volume, in my opinion, is very good. It has a very loud audio. Uh, at the top level, when you get up there, it's 29 is the max. When you get up 25 to 29, it's got a lot of distortion in there, uh, so I usually keep it down a little bit lower. But I mean, if you're in a vehicle and you need a little louder, uh, I think this is going to work great for that as far as audio output. Let's talk about this 3.5 inch LCD display. Uh, you can customize this in many, many ways. Uh, I'll show you the cayenne and black background. You can do it any way you want. I mean, this thing has so many uh, options as far as the display goes. You want to customize it. I like the detail mode, the trunk and the conventional, but you can do uh, simple. I mean, just look at all the customization you have. You can set the back color to any of those. You can set the text color to any of those. Any combination of those two things, you can do that. That makes this scanner uh, stand out above the rest, in my opinion. Once you have the setup you like, this is how I like mine on this one. I like that yellow with the black background. It really pops. Uh, if you don't want to menu, menu, menu all the way back out of the menu, you can just hit that system button and it goes back to scanning. But I, I like this because it kind of, it makes my system stand out, the department, as well as my channel. That's why I like that. One thing you'll notice on the difference between this and the BC 536HP is the volume is on top. On the 536HP, the volume is on the bottom and the squelch is on top. 
This is more in line with the way my mind works. Uh, just reaching up and grabbing the volume on the top. A lot of people want to know that's your alert light. If you want to check that out, you can set up any uh, alert to uh, blink when there's activity there, and that's where that's going to come in. That's air band reception. Sounds really good. Now this radio has tons and tons of options, just like the, uh, the SDS-100. You can go through this menu system and see the options that are available. So we got search uh, and close call options are in that menu. We can look at the, what we've avoided, set our broadcast screens, we can set our attenuation. We can search in custom searches. You can set up any range that uh, the scanner has the ability to receive. You can set up that range and scan it. I've got an air search set up. There are no service searches like used to be in the older scanners that had the pre-programmed search. Close call, that's gonna receive any um, transmission that's close to you. And by close, we're talking eyesight. So a couple hundred feet. Uh, you can analyze the system. Start, I'm gonna start with AWIN, which is my closest system. It's gonna give you some information on your system as far as the signal, the quality of your signal, et cetera. The NAC codes, system ID and site ID, things like that. You can do discovery modes, trunk and discovery, conventional, and then review discoveries. You can just set up a system that you want to discover and it'll uh, log every time there's activity on that. So if you're gonna be away and you wanna do that. Priority scan, everybody kinda knows what that is. It's been around forever. Uh, common weather operations, uh, same alerts, uh, weather scan. Skies were thinner with a temperature of 50 degrees. The dew point was 35, making the relative humidity 56%. Winds were northwest at... And then we have tone out, uh, fire tone out. So if you know your tone outs uh, for your fire department, the tones that they use, you can use this basically like a pager, like a fire pager. We've got our display options. We can customize them. We can set formats on the IDs we want displayed. Uh, we can go black and white mode. I think the black and white mode is excellent for uh, nighttime operation. And then of course we got our settings. Key beat, which I have mine off the clock. You can upgrade. This is where you get your DMR, your Pro Voice, or your next in upgrade uh, key put in. So if you have one, you would put that key in there. You can set your NAC operation. Uh, use the site NAC or ignore it. Uh, global audio filters, uh, you can uh, choose a filter. You choose your band defaults, auto shut off times, land settings, uh, replay options, which I wish, I wish this replay, I said this in the SDS-100 review as well, I wish it was out in the main menu tree, but it's not, so. There's a, there's a couple of ways we can go about programming this radio, which makes it really, really cool. So you can go into the menu settings by pressing in on the squelch, and we'll go down to uh, you set your location. You can enter your zip code and then this will program it to this area. Now I'm not going to do that because it will overwrite my programming. What's neat about that or what you need to know about that so what you need to do is go in and set your service types. What this is is it tells the scanner what you want to hear. If you do not want to hear any businesses you will turn that off. If you do not want to hear aircraft, you'll turn that on or off. Um, and you just go down through this list and pick what you what you want to, my finger was in the way. So what you want to hear and what you do not want to hear. So you can see uh, there's no media in my area, so it's blacked out. But just scroll through here, tell it what you want to hear, whether it be railroads, security, schools, things like that. You can turn this stuff on and off. That way when it loads that zip code programming in, you don't get a whole bunch of junk you don't want to hear. Basically. And then this is where you can go in and look at the... Uh, so if you want to customize this backlight, we can do a whole lot of different things. I mean, customize the, the uh, LCD. This is, this is the detailed trunk. You can change any of this information to a variety of stuff. If you want to see all of those item details, SDS 100 review that I done, I went through this full menu setup. If we want to change the color, we can do a black LCD with white text or white with black. Let's go with the black with white for a night mode. That's pretty cool. Now this is set up with yellow text with a black background. You can change this in any and in many different ways. So now we got our black background with the yellow text. You can edit these colors any way you want. I like this. It stands out a lot to me, this yellow with the black background and then the white. Uh, text but I also love that cayenne with the black text 
so you can customize this. That's one of the best features of this scanner is that you can customize this display to your liking. You can make it as colorful as you want or as plain as you want. You can temporary avoid. You can double click that avoid and get it uh, permanently avoided, which means you'd have to go into the menu system to edit that or to get it back uh, unavoided. How's replay work? Plus the replay button. It's going to start replaying the last uh, 90 seconds of transmissions. Some weak signal air band. And it'll record uh, your channel and everything. I wish it would record the uh, signal strength. Play again, yes or no? All you gotta do to get to that is hit the replay button. Back to scan. Now if we were recording, then replay won't work. So you can use a GPS uh, module to uh, do GPS scanning. I'll drop a link below to this. Uh, GPS module and the phone cord that you need. This is just a telephone cord that you need to connect to the back of the radio into the GPS unit. What that GPS allows for is if you're moving, if you put this in your car and say you're driving a two hour trip to work or your commute every day or one hour trip, whatever, or if you're going on a road trip with your family or yourself or whatever, you can program this to um, turn off and on systems as you travel through that area which is really, really cool. You can set up a, a distance on uh, the system, the GPS coordinates. Say you plug in the GPS coordinates of the system and you put a 10 mile radius. Well, when you come within 10 miles of that system, it'll go ahead and uh, turn that system on. And then when you go outside that 10 miles, it'll turn it off automatically without you ever having to touch the radio. That's really cool. So who is this for? I mean, if you're looking at this review, then obviously you're interested uh, or you've already bought it and you're just kind of filling the waters out if you made a good choice maybe. I think a lot of news agencies will buy stuff like this, uh, but as far as the, the hobbyist, this is for those who want a top of the line radio, who enjoy monitoring their systems, who enjoy keeping up with what's going on around them. Uh, I do, and uh, so this is for me. And I like having this as my home unit, and I like having the SDS-100 as one I can take on the go. Uh, if I was wanted one for the car, I'd probably go with this one. If I want to save a little money, I go with the 996P2. I think that's one of the better radios that uh, Unity makes. Uh, it just doesn't have a lot of the features like this does as far as the onboard recording, stuff like that. Um, but it's a fine radio. But this is one of the better radios you can get uh, for the price. I'll drop a link in the description below how you can go buy this scanner. If you use the link below to go to Amazon and buy this, you'll get free shipping. If you, uh, most states, it's gonna be tax free. If you're in one of those unlucky states, I'm sorry, but it's just how it is. If you don't like using Amazon, of course, you can always go to Scanner Master, Universal Radio, uh, HRO, Ham Radio Outlet. Uh, there's many reputable dealers out there. Uh, Scanner Master even offers some programming if you're a little nervous about programming your own radio. So I'll drop links to those places as well. So if there's anything in this video that I did not cover that you wished I would have, drop a comment below, let me know uh, what you wanna see in a video about this STS-200. If you own the SDS-200, what is your favorite feature so far? Drop that in the comments below. Full disclosure, this radio was given to me by Uniden to me for me helping test the radio before production. Uh, these opinions are my own of this radio. They are not uh, coerced or paid for in any way uh, by anyone. I wasn't even asked to make a video. I've done this on my own because I like reviewing the radios. I've done this for years. Uh, some I bought my own money, some that I were testing. So just keep that in mind when you're looking at this video. Just want to let you know that. I highly recommend the Diamond Antenna. I'll drop a link in the description below. It is an excellent radio, or it's an excellent antenna. Uh, you'll just need a 90 degree adapter for it. I'll put that link down there as well. If you'll check that out, it's an excellent air band and VHF high um, antenna. As far as the stock antenna goes, when it comes with this, it's just an extendable aluminum antenna or whatever they're made out of. It works pretty good. It really does for this radio.